What's up guys? It's Miss Long again here with another math video. I hope you're ready to begin to learn some fun and interesting things today. So today's learning target is how can we represent a fraction as a sum of unit fractions? If you notice the word sum is in capitalization or capital letters because we're going to be making sums which means we're going to be adding together unit fractions. We're going to talk about that in a moment. So let's go ahead and look at some vocabulary words from this unit. So the first word we're going to look at again is sum. And the sum is an answer to an addition problem. So we're going to be decomposing some fractions and we're going to be adding, figuring out a way that we can add together to get the sum or the answer to an addition problem. The next word is a unit fraction. And a unit fraction, guys, is just any fraction with a one on the top. So look at some examples over here. One third, one fourth, one twelfth, and one eighty fourth. Okay, it could be any number on the bottom as long as there's a one on top. That's a unit fraction. And the last vocabulary word is a mixed number. A mixed number is just a number that has a whole number and a fraction part. So as you see here, two and three fourths, two and three fourths. That's how we say a mixed number. Um, this will be your whole number part, so whole number is 2, and a fraction part, which is 3 fourths, so our mixed number is, again, 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, let's go ahead and start our practice for today. Let me get my pen and get my color ready. So again, guys, we're learning about how we can represent a fraction as a sum of a unit fraction. So we're going to be looking for those fractions with one on top to be building some of these fractions down here. So it says write a mixed number for the fraction model. Okay, well I see mixed number, so I know I need a whole, like a whole number, and then I need a fraction part. So I see this whole entire uh, fraction is shaded in, so that's going to be like a 1. This whole entire fraction model is shaded in, so that's also a 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 fifths. I know that 5 fifths, guys, is going to be the same thing as a what? A one, right. So this is five fifths, five fifths, five fifths, but it's also a one, one, and a one, okay? And we're again finding a sum. Ooh, that pen would look crazy there. So we're gonna add these together. One plus one plus one plus, hmm, I see a fraction here. Well, I see one part is shaded in, so I'll put the one in the numerator, over how many parts in whole? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So I see one plus one plus one, which is going to be what? Three. I have three whole shapes shaded, and then I also have one-fifth shaded. So our mixed number should be three and one-fifth. It's as easy as that. Okay? Let's do another example. Move this out of the way down here. And we see we have some blue rectangles down here, okay? So let's take a peek at that. Go ahead and think in your head what this fraction represents. Well, I see one, two, three, four. Four are shaded out of four. So this fraction is four fourths, but we also can call it one whole. So it's a one. Plus, how about this? Well, I see one part is shaded out of four, so that's one fourth. Again, same thing here. One part is shaded out of four. One fourth. Well, if I have one fourth plus another fourth, one, one fourth plus one fourth is two fourths. Because if we took this one and this one, and we just went ahead and, let me show you, shaded this in like that, and then we took this away. Look at that. It's the same thing as two fourths, okay? But again, our picture looks like that, so we have to keep it like this. Um, so, anyways, when we add this all together, we would have a one, right? That's our whole number. And then we have one fourth plus one fourth, which is two fourths. So, our mixed number is one and two fourths. Easy enough. Moving on. We're going to now take a mixed number and we're going to go ahead and make an equation for that to represent a sum of the whole number. So it's almost like we're going backwards from here. Like we are 
we were trying to get our mixed number here, but now they're giving us a mixed number. Okay? So, we know we want to break down 5 first into just some 1s. So, how many 1s is going to take to make a 5? We're going to take 5 of them. So, 1 plus 1, that's 2, plus 1 more, that's 3, plus 1 more, that's 4, plus 1 more, that's 5. Now, we cannot forget about this fraction right here. This is 1 half. And what is that called when there's a 1 on top of a fraction? It is a unit fraction. So, we're looking for unit fractions anyways. So, let's just go ahead and take the 1 half and put it right there. Okay? So, this would, again, be the equation 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. All of that together is going to equal your 5. And then the 1 half is going to be the 1 half. Okay? So this will be your answer right here. One, two, three, four, five ones and a one half. Okay? Next example. One and three fifths. Let's take a look at that one. Well, let's look at our whole number first. And I see we just have a one here. So let's go ahead and just drop that one. And now we have a three fifths. Well, I see I need to add to three on the top. And I see that my new, or excuse me, my denominator is a 5. So all of my denominators need to be a 5. So if I have 1 fifth, that is a unit fraction for fifths. So I have 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. That's 2 fifths plus 1 more fifth. Okay. Let's take a closer look at that, at these fifths right here. Because I know some of you may be a little bit confused now. So let me get my handy dandy. Um, shape tool out. Okay. And let's go ahead and split this into fifths. So down. Oh. In. In. And in again. And in again. Okay. So there is our fifths, right? Now, again, our initial fraction says three-fifths, okay? So let's go ahead and look how that's going to look if we did three-fifths. One, two, three. Three-fifths. But I want everybody to take a peek at this right here. This is a one-fifth in here. How much does this represent? A one-fifth. That's one-fifth of the circle. And again, there's one-fifth of the circle here. So do you see how three-fifths adds up to one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Okay? So the answer to one and three-fifths, the equation that represents one and three-fifths is one, which is going to be the one, and then to get three-fifths, that will be one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Okay? Last one in this example is going to be this one right here, this mixed number, four and two-thirds. This is going to be a little bit longer, but still easy. Okay? Let's make our four first. We're going to do it the same way we did up top with just some ones. How many fours are we, or excuse me, how many ones are we going to need? We're going to need four. One plus one plus one. Ooh, I'm writing with the mouse, guys. Sorry, it's a little tricky. One, two, three plus one more is four plus two thirds. Now, we don't want a two on the top. We want to use those unit fraction with the one. And we see that our denominator is a 3, so our other denominator is going to be a 3. So if I have 2 thirds, hmm, you can even draw a picture. You can even draw a picture if you're just really confused and you don't know. Okay, what if we did our lines like this and we're going to break it in? Uh oh. Uh oh, that's long. Break it into thirds. I know it's a little sloppy. I know it's a little sloppy. All right. We have a two-thirds right here, so let's shade in one, two-thirds, okay? How much are each of the shaded pieces worth? How much are each of the shaded pieces worth? How much is this worth? A one-third. How much is this worth? One-third. Okay, so we see that two-thirds is really one-third plus another one-third. So our equation for four and two thirds would be one plus one plus one plus one. All of that right there is going to give you your 
four. And one third plus one third is two thirds. Okay, so that's how you do those problems. All right, next one. These are word problems, word problems, okay? Jim and Kim were super hungry and they ate two whole pizzas. They also ate an additional three fourths of a third pizza. Represent this with a mixed number and draw a visual fraction model. All right, well, I know that a mixed number, because asked me for a mixed number, is going to have a whole, and I see it says two whole right there, and also it's going to have a fraction part. So my mixed number for the amount of pizzas they ate is going to be two and three fourths. Okay? That was easy enough, right? They ate two whole pizzas and three fourths of another pizza. So now we need to go ahead and represent that right here, draw a visual fraction model. So I'm gonna, I know they ate one whole pizza, they also ate another whole pizza, and then they ate three fourths of a third pizza. They were super hungry, okay? So if we look at our lines, let me go ahead and we need to split it into how many pieces, guys? How many pieces we split these pies into? If we look at our two and three fourths, our mixed number. Well, to know that, you need to look at the denominator, okay? This denominator tells us that there are four equal pieces in each pie or in each pizza, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and split each pizza into four equal pieces. This one's going to have some pink lines. <laughs> pink pizza, no problem, right? Again, four equal pieces. And again, four equal pieces. Now, we can't have one pizza that has eight, one pizza that has three, and one pizza that has one. Um, not here. It says we got four equal pieces, okay? So, let's shade it in. They ate two whole pizzas. Let's make red pizzas. So, they ate one whole pizza. That's one. They ate two whole pizzas. That's two. And they ate three-fourths of a third pizza. One, two, three. Okay? So, this will be our drawing right here. And it's important that you shade it in correctly or... That would not represent the same mixed number. So one, two, and then three fourths. Okay? It is now time for a new section I added into these videos now called the independent practice time. Um, I know some of you want some practice on these. So if you do want the extra practice, be ready to pause the video when I say to. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide and I'll just tell you to pause. And then you'll work out the problem. And then you'll just come back and I'll help you uh, check the problem and make sure your answers are correct. Okay, some of these are a little tricky, um, but I do want to expose you to these so you're familiar. So again, we're going to uh, be learning about how we can represent a fraction as a sum of unit fractions. So find the missing fraction below that goes into the empty box. Okay, first one, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. You can solve that and put the answer in the box. Pause this video now. Okay, if you are back, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is going to be three fourths. Because we know if we have a piece of one fourth, and we put another one fourth together, that's two fourths, then another one fourth will be three fourths. Okay, moving on to the next one. One sixth plus three sixths equals what? Pause the video now if you are ready to solve this. Okay, if you are back, 1 6 plus 3 6. If you guys notice up here, we kept the denominator the same. We're going to do the same thing here. Uh, they have common denominators, so this one will also have a 6 in the denominator. And you add the 1 plus a 3 and get a 4. So 1 6 plus 3 6 equals 4 6. Next one. Uh oh, I noticed something is a little backwards here. You need to be very careful when you see things like this. This says 6 sevenths equals 2 sevenths plus blank. So we need to find out what can add with 2 to get 6. Okay, if you notice the denominators are the same. Pause the video now in order to solve this. If you are back, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Well, again, it was a little tricky, guys, because I have an equal sign here. 
and the plus sign was here. So it's asking us 2 plus what gives us 6? Um, so 2 plus 1, 2 plus how many more gives us 6? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 more would give us 6. So 4 over 7. 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths equals 6 sevenths. The equal sign does not always have to be over here, guys. A lot of times we see it, but now in fourth grade and um, fifth grade and on in the future, you're going to be seeing the equal sign sort of in the front sometimes, and it is really the same thing, okay, as it being in the back. You just have to learn to look at your equation differently. All right, next one. Again, with um, looking at the equal sign, guys, in the front here, 2 and 1 eighth equals 1 plus blank plus 1 eighth. So it's asking you to break down this um, mixed number right here into a sum of unit fractions. Okay, so pause the video now if you are ready to solve it yourself. All right, so let's take a look. It has 2 and 1 eighth. 2 and 1 eighth. And if we want to break that down into a sum of unit fractions, a 2 is going to be a what? 1 plus a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 eighth right here gives us 2, which this will be our 2 right here, 2 and 1 eighth. Okay? So it wasn't as tricky as you thought it was. Let's take a look at another. All right. 4 and 1 ninth plus 3 ninths equals 4 plus what? Pause the video here. Alright, so let's take a look. Again, our equal sign is right here in the middle this time. 4 and 1 ninth. 4 and 1 ninth plus 3 ninths. Let's just take a look at that side first and see if we can simplify that sum. Well, the whole number is all by itself, so I'm just going to drop it down. There's no other whole number over here. But we can add these fractions. So, 1 ninth plus 3 ninth. Hmm. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. And then our denominators are going to stay the same. Sorry, someone is texting me during my video. How rude. Um, so, this side is really going to equal 4 and 4 ninths equals... 4 plus blank. 4 plus what? Well, we got a 4 and a 4. So what goes in the blank? You got it. 4 ninths. 4 ninths. Let me make it a little longer. Okay. Last one. Go ahead and look at the problem. 1 and 2 fifths equals blank plus 2 fifths. Pause the video now if you would like to solve it. All right. So if we look at this, 1 and 2 fifths equals blank plus 2 fifths. Well, I see a 2 fifths and a 2 fifths right here. So I know that what's going to go in this other blank? A 1. 1 and 2 fifths is the same thing as 1 plus 2 fifths, right? All right, guys, so that was our lesson again on how we can represent a fraction as a sum of unit fractions. I hope that you learned something and you found this video valuable. Um, again, if you need help, hit me up. You know I'm always here, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.